course, and off you go with your bits and bobs and spanners and pints and bangers. Good God, man, I think it's time for a spa tea. <laughs> Unfortunately, all we got around here is coffee. One more fun piece of adventure equipment to put on the CB500X before we go on with the complete conversion of the Stage 3 kit is this tailpiece. The part numbers that I have are is the rear rack RRP445 and the rear solo rack mounts RRP444. These pieces replace the stock handrails and gives a place to bolt the tailpiece onto. Replacing these stock handrails here, which unbolt from right there. And what this gives you is a handle to uh, pick up the bike and also a good point of purchase to uh, grab a hold of your giant loop coyote bag or giant loop luggage. Using these clips right here, we'll grab a hold of this and then we'll show you how it loops through the frame or the pegs to uh, strap onto the bike. I got the same setup here on the 690. Works real good. Gets you lots of options for strapping stuff onto the back of the bike. The other option besides these solo mounts is the uh, Rally Raid Part uh, 440. If you want to go with the side luggage racks, they would replace this part here, and then you could bolt your tailpiece onto, onto that. The fitting instructions are found right here on the Rally Raid website. Go to the part that you're working with. And look at the lower left corner of the page and there's the fitting instructions so let's put these on step one remove seat and unbolt the uh, hand grab rails got that done step two bolt the solo rack mount into position into place and we're going to use the rally raid hardware for this we're not using the stock hardware loctite apply loctite onto everything Orient your solo plate correctly into position. The two larger M8 bolts go back here. The smaller M6 bolt goes here with the spacer underneath it. And that's going to give it the right angle. Lock tight and bolt it down. Don't tighten it up just quite yet. Let's put the whole assembly together before we finally tighten it up. Two big bolts for the rear, smaller bolt for the front. Spacer goes with the front bolt. Just tighten it up loosely for now. Now the tail rack is going to fit on top of the solo rack. So you got to buy the two together, put them together as a combination. Put your baby, <laughs> say this three times fast, put your rubber baby buggy bumper in right there so it can bounce off the tail. Yeah, that'll stay. Nice looking hardware and countersunk screws. <laughs> Fits like it was made for it. Imagine that. Washers and nylocks, nylon lock nuts. Allen head on top, socket on the bottom, snuggy it up, and we'll tighten the whole thing down together in a pattern. Okay, there's the rack and the nylon buttons. Okay, let's throw the seat on and then let's play with the giant loop bag after reading the instructions it's saying that the side racks work better for the giant loop bag but I don't want side racks on my machine I just want to run this and the giant loop bag it, the the coyote bag is so versatile you can get it to fit in nearly any application so I'm confident we'll find a solid way to mount it onto here that is really solid you could easily pick up a bike <laughs> right there with that okay just as I suspected it works perfect the giant loop 
coyote bag and an additional dry bag mounted on the tail piece kit, the Rally Raid tail piece kit. So you can grab your clips from your coyote bag right here. You can grab forward right here. You may even be able to grab up here. That brings the bag nice and close in. Of course, that can be adjusted even closer. And then I bring these all the way around the back side of the tailpiece kit through here and grab a hold of the dry gear. I would recommend, I really like to pack light, about 15, one five, 15 pounds of uh, gear will get me through days and days of riding. The philosophy behind that is, <laughs> go, you know, you, know, you wanna go lighter, farther, faster. Um, we're not cooking off the bike, I'm not doing dishes. <laughs> The idea is to ride all day long till you just can't stand it. Stop at a gas station just before sunset, get your gas, get a beer, and get a sandwich or something to eat in a package, head off into the bush and set up a quick camp, sleep, eat, sleep, and drink, <laughs> wake up at first crack in the morning and head off again for more riding. And at some point in the morning, you're gonna be close to a coffee shop anyway. So you don't even need to make coffee. Uh, just bring a Starbucks um, Frappuccino or a one of those things called those one of those energy drinks with you in the morning and that way you don't have to carry a bunch of camping gear with you cooking gear and all that stuff all you need is your overnight gear yeah that that ain't going nowhere you just keep tightening it up no rubbing it's not even rubbing down there Thought I might need some of that uh, anti-chafing material on here. Not a problem. Exhaust is certainly not a problem on this installation. One other product uh, Giant Loop makes in lieu of the Coyote bag is the Mojave bag, which is great for day trips. Kind of the same thing but different uh, than the Coyote bag. But what it allows you to do is get all the weight of tire irons and uh, uh, inner tubes and such out of your vest and get off your back and onto the bike. I gotta get me one of those. The Rally Raid Tailpiece on the CB500X.